temp tables in BigQuery are different to any normal database temp tables. They share a similar functionality, but they are different in the way and how you can access this and how long the data persists. Today we will find out how to create a temporary table, but also why technically every table in BigQuery is a temporary table. But before we start, check out the advanced playlist up here somewhere to bring more, to bring more knowledge into the data field. With that being said, let's go. Let's start off by just writing a normal temp table statement, right? So I would say create table, or even better, I would say create or replace table, temp table, of course, uh, my table as select one. So any normal database, I would not get an error, but in BigQuery I do. So it says create temporary table requ requires a script or a session. So even if I execute this, it still says requires a temporary table, requires a script or a session. So now the way on how a script works is a script uh, is basically contains multiple multiple SQL queries. Right now we just have a query in here and it says like, ah, you cannot, you cannot create a temp table as a query or in a query. Meaning that if I, for example, just add select one in here, or just to make this obvious, if I say select two, it would execute fine because the, this specific temp table only exists in the context of the script. It says, uh, first of all, it complains about that I have not defined a name for my temp table. So in this case, my column needs a name. Uh, let's say column name, execute again. And of course, my results will be, first of all, that this temp table is being created. And then my SQL select two is also being execute. now I executed. Now I can look at my SQL here. It says two. Um, of course, ideally, I do, I do select something from my SQL table here that I created, right? So I can just say select all from my table, but it doesn't really matter. That's the that's the first part about this. So BigQuery only wants to see if you have a script or a session. A session we will dive into in a second. A script would mean that you have at least two SQL queries or like a consequent, consecutive uh, order of things, meaning that now I have my SQL table. In the next part, let's say we do the same. I open another tab. We do the same, and in this case, we we do want to use the session mode. So now it says still requires a script or a session. We've been to the script. Now we look at the session. So and the cool part is I can go for query settings in here, and then if I scroll a bit down, I see there's a there's a checkbox for use session mode, and if I click on this then something magically happens and now I can execute my temp table and everything's fine and I can even now use my temp table without any without the need to create the temp table beforehand because I'm in the session mode and BigQuery now recognizes that this session that this table in my session can be used in here if I do the same in the script mode so let's say I would like to just execute this course it doesn't doesn't work right so it tells me this but even if I would like to just execute my table in here it also says it doesn't exist because the table doesn't exist right so I have to execute both at the same time so basically execute a script right um, in order to read this however in session mode I'm not bound to this meaning that the next part if I would like to see okay what table have I created in here I can just uh, go to my personal history, for example. I see we have a couple of failed statements, but I can also scroll to the right and I see I have session IDs now, meaning I can look at my table in here. For example, I can open this one and I can scroll down and open this new query. And now I have my column name and my table in here. That's quite nice. And the cool part, maybe you've seen it already. So meaning that if I click on this, you see that and if I scroll down, I see that this is a temporary table, right? And it doesn't really matter what I do. So let's say I open a new editor and I say select three and I execute this. In a second, my personal history will also update and I can click on this. Oh, I can click on this. BigQuery opens and you see it's also a temporary table. So meaning everything I do here is a temporary table, which means that I can access this temporary table as well. So now I see like unknown something, I can say query in a new tab. Now it's getting a bit messy in here, but I can still see the script that I've executed. And that's quite nice, right? Those temporary tables, they stay for 24 hours 
um, for a session, if you run in a session or in session mode, these tables can can stay until seven days, basically. Um, but only if you are active within 24 hours, meaning that if you are inactive uh, 24 hours long, those tables are getting dropped. And that's a quite nice feature and I think you will like this. I haven't known this before and uh, I think that like, this is highly valuable, especially the session mode, right? So meaning that if I can now, I can now do an exploration, I can now do something that I don't have to execute the whole time, right? So if you have a long script and you use a temp table in here or you create a temp table, you can use it further down the line to explore and see what happens. And uh, that's actually also way better than with any sort of width clause, because here I, I do create a table and I can debug it at this time, time point. Of course, I can always at some point put everything in the width clause, but if I'm in exploration mode, it might make sense to have it like this. With this being said, subscribe to the channel, <laughs> like, uh, don't forget to check out. There are some nice videos about BigQuery already in the playlist somewhere here or here, and have fun with this new feature.